Hey, welcome to Saturday morning, everybody. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, thank you for all the really nice, kind comments about my artwork. This is a local artist here in Maine. Her name is Lisa Hauk. Hi, Lisa. Um, lovely uh, artwork. I love her stuff. So I uh, always want to give a shout out to artists and to um, people who are friends of the channel. So you definitely want to do that. So let's go without further ado. This is really going to be about what do you need to know right this minute. I did a um, I did a pick a card yesterday that was like full readings. Here you go. Uh, but um, that was more about like what spirit wants you to know right now. But I'm going to do this for each zodiac sign now. So you can watch the pick a card or you can do this or you can do both. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to start with Virgo. Um, I'm going to use this Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Some of you really are loving that deck, so I'm going to just completely pay homage to that. And then I'm going to use the um, this deck here, which is uh, Barbara Moore's Tarot Made Easy. Some of you in my tarot class love this. So another shout out to <laughs> friends of the channel or things that people love on this channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you like the content I create. Welcome, 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 everybody. Okay, so let's get going here. I'm just going to move you a little bit so I can do this with my deck. Okay, so let's start with Virgo. What does spirit want Virgo to know right now? These are all sun, moon, rising, and Venus. At the end of this reading, all of its 12 signs, I will pull cards for everybody watching. Okay, okay. All right, so Virgo, what does spirit want you to know right now? Go the distance. This is a marathon, not a sprint, Virgo. I think you're pretty good at that, okay? I'm just going to say that seems like something that you don't really need to know <laughs> right now, but this will uh, clarify it, okay, for you? Okay, so I feel like some of the things you're doing is are, are too much work. OK, I feel like you need to learn to streamline. You need to learn to do things easier. You need to learn to step into what is your real power. Some of you are learning new things. And um, are they really what your clients need? Are they really what you need? I feel like you're you're learning a lot of stuff that's kind of busy work that isn't really important right now. What is important is. What are you learning that's inspiring you? That's the direction to go in. Spirit wants you to know that this is a marathon, not a sprint. And some of the things that you're thinking you should employ on in your business or in your life, I think you got to be more discerning. Okay, Virgo, I think you got to be more discerning. I think you might be, um, you know, putting too much effort and time. I always talk about that friend of mine that that had this Excel kind of document thing about every single project she did. She had to make like a bunch of Excel spreadsheets about it. And it was a lot of work that wasn't really moving the project forward at all. And I feel like that's what's going on. Just do the stuff that's inspiring to you. I know that's completely against the Virgo code of ethics about like, no, I must do all of this. Delegate, 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 Virgo. Okay. That's what's going to really help you right now is delegate some of the stuff that isn't moving you forward. Libra, for Libra, what does spirit want you to know right now? Building blocks. Whatever you're doing right now, Libra, is building your future. It's really good. The Hermit, wow. The Five of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So you've got some Virgo energy going on here too. A uh, little bit similar. If you're building your life right now, uh, some of you are, are working too hard because you're coming from a place of lack. It's time to integrate the knowledge and the healing and the wisdom and the clarity that you've had over the past five years. It's time for you to integrate that into what you're doing. And this outcome is like, okay, what do I, what do I put effort and time into? Uh, King of Swords is very clear on this. There is this sense of, is it, Am I doing the thing that I'm supposed, am I where I'm supposed to be? There's a little bit of a feeling about that, but I think the King of Swords is going to say, yes, you are where you're supposed to be. Going to get a lot of clarity around that. And the Knight of Pentacles is like, then lean into that. Lean into the messages about, yes, this is where you're supposed to be. Whatever that means for you. Okay. Am I with the right person? Am I barking up the right tree with this job? Am I going in the right direction with my business? Yes. But only when you integrate these things, don't sit in energy from the past. 
you're going to need to get clarity from it and then move forward. Okay, Libra, get clarity and move forward. I like that a lot. So that's the building blocks for Libra. Like that. Okay, for um, Scorpio, what is wanting to come through? Higher power. A little bit of trust energy here. Knight of Cups. I'm oh, sorry, Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Empress card. Some of you need help with money. Okay, some of you need to ask for help. All right, around something in your life, ask for help around money, ask for help around manifesting what you're wanting to manifest. This is the divine feminine energy. This is about receiving. I feel like the four of pentacles and the six of pentacles, that's the 10 of pentacles. But you're so like scattered with, in terms of where you're putting your energy, I think you need to start receiving. Some of you are putting out too much energy. Some of you need to receive. OK, some of you need to receive and get help. Some of you need to ask for help. Some of you need to delegate. OK, like that. This is like doing everything yourself isn't getting you anywhere. Uh, some of you need to um, put it out there, put it out to the universe that you need someone who is going to help you build what you want to build. Someone's going to help you build based on what you feel is really important. OK, and I feel like this wish is granted, but you're. There's something about money here that needs to be cleared. All right. There's something about money. Yeah. There's no passion in the money that you're making right now and or in like you're doing something just because it's for money. I think that needs to be changed. I think you need to move in the direction of something that really is empowering. What's your wish? What's your dream? And then ask it to come in. Stop doing things that are outside of that dream. OK, the first step is to manifest based on your power. This week, I'm doing a class on reprogramming your, your um, subconscious mind so that you can stop, uh, you know, kind of sabotaging yourself. So that might be for you, Scorpio. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see where we go for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Tick tock, baby. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting an, another message just for myself on this. I'm going to be doing a Tick tock live today and I'm like. Oh, okay. I'm a Sagittarius, so TikTok. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we have the Libra energy of justice, the 10 of wands. Stop pushing at doors that are closed. Stop pushing at doors that are closed. There's other doors that want to open. Oh my goodness. Yes. Your intuition um, is right on the money. Why are you pushing at doors that are closed? All right. It's time to do something new. This will balance you. And this will also, I feel like you consult your intuitive uh, nature. You consult your higher self. You get yourself balanced. You put down these things that aren't doing anything for you. Okay. So TikTok, it's time to do that. It's time to make a choice. Some of you are also choosing love. Some of you might be walking away from another relationship that you know is over, you know is done. And some of you might even be filing for divorce. Okay, Sagittarius, it's time. In case you're looking for a sign, Sag, this is it. It's time to move away from the things that are soul sucking. Uh, move away from the things that are eating you alive in terms of your productivity or in terms of, you know, what you want to create in the world. The Ten of Wands is just saying you're like, grind, grind, grind. Uh-uh, not doing that anymore. Not doing it anymore. Making new choices. I like it, Saggy. Capricorn. Yang, Ace of Wands, okay? The Two of Wands, the Six of Swords, yes, really moving forward, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So lots of ease coming in. I feel like this is a new idea, okay? And you may be taking action on this new idea. That's gonna be very good for you. I feel like you have, you just have to make the decision OK, you just have to make the decision. This five of wands feels like there's you could be not making the decision because of competition or there's a lot of other people doing what you want to do. But I just feel like who cares? It's your energy. It's you that people are looking for. Right. Like you could watch 100 different um, YouTubers uh, do tarot, but some of you like me and that's why you're here. And so super grateful for that. But like that's the kind of the idea, Capricorn, that this is an old school thinking. This is very 1950s, 1970s kind of thinking that, well, there's, you know, too many people doing what I want to do. That means I can't do it. 
now it just it's just a validation of the business model. OK, so I think you're deciding. I think you're seeing the way forward and it's going to be a lot easier. Things are going to get a lot easier. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. That was also in the, well, that song, too. But that was also in um, that's the 70s. That's a 70s song. Um, that was also in uh, the pick a card. Things are going to get easier in Capricorn. That is definitely for you. OK, for Aquarius, unfinished symphony. Got some unfinished business going on. Page, well, uh, come on back here. Page of Cups. Yup. Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. So Aquarius, the, the thing that's unfinished is some kind of apology. Okay? Some kind of apology, some kind of, of truth, authentic way of saying something to somebody really changes the game. And this moves it forward. You might not be the one saying, I'm sorry, but you might be saying something really authentic that comes across very heartfelt. And that is the beautiful movement forward. And with the six of wands and the wheel of fortune, so beautiful. So 10 of wands, this unfinished symphony, somebody could be apologizing to you or somebody could be offering you some kind of lighthearted message of love that really warms your heart. And you know, it's truly authentic. That's what moves things forward. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, uh, um, Aquarius, that feels really good to me, even though you're, you're ruling sign or you're ruling planet Uranus went in retrograde. I almost feel like that's like a, let's back it up here and let's finish the cycle before I can move forward. And that's happening. Good. Okay. That's for Aquarius. What about for Pisces, please? Am I recording this? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Time to go Pisces. Time to go. This is a message coming in. If you've been waiting for a sign, yes, you have tower, knight of wands, time to go. King of pentacles. The outcome is that you're going to be going towards your stability. It may not look like that right now. Okay. You may think that staying where you are is going to be the stable choice. It's not. The message is coming in that is clearing the way forward for you to move forward. Take the off ramp. Okay. Take the off ramp, off ramp, buy the shoes, eat the cake. Life is short. Okay. Take the off ramp because it's going in a really beautiful direction. King of pentacles. I like that a lot. It is time to go. Something is very, very stuck and it's very, very over. When someone gives you an out, take it. All right. Someone's going to say something to you. That's like, well, maybe you shouldn't be here. You're like, yup, out I go. Well, maybe you don't want this. It's a manipulation designed for you to go, oh, no, 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 I do. If someone says that, say, yes, you're right, I'm out. And then they'll be like, what happened? <laughs> what just happened here? <laughs> All right, Pisces, that's for you. Wow. Aries for you, my darling. Co-create, co-create with the universe. I like it. Seven of Cups. Temperance. Beautiful energy here. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. I like it. I like it. Judgment. All right, so you've got something to do. I feel like you're dithering. That's not a word I use with Aries. You're dithering. You're like, well, is it this? Is it that? I mean, seriously, like ask for a sign. I feel like the universe, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, bring it in, bring it in hot, coming in hot, a new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. Stop dithering. Choose. Choose a direction, Aries, and go for it. You have messages coming in left and right. Uh, some of you may be like, all right, but I need another sign. All right, tell me universe which way to go. And the universe points the direction. You're like, yeah, okay, all right, but I need another sign. Stop doing that, Aries. Stop doing it. It's time for you to co-create with the universe. North Node and Aries, don't forget about that. It is the karmic path, the mission forward. And it's in your sign. So you might be feeling that. Um, Taurus, what's for you, my darling? Taurus, the tribe. Whoop! Ten of Swords. Moon. Oh, yeah. Pisces full moon. Queen of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. So something definitely uh, chapter ended during that Pisces full moon that we just had. I'm doing it. I'm recording this reading in that energy. So I'm going to transfer that energy to you right now, Taurus. This is most, uh, most assuredly about a six-month chapter that's over. Take a look back in Pisces time meaning in February, 
what were you manifesting February into March? What were you manifesting at the time? What was going on? That chapter is over. Okay. That chapter is over. And I feel like the new chapter is coming in very quickly, a new offer, a new beginning. I've been seeing this for Taurus for weeks. Okay. That you just know that there's something about support from the tribe that has been keeping you or holding you back. You may have a lot of responsibility on your plate that might've been holding you back. New beginnings. Gemini for you. Why? Are you not knowing your why? Four of wands, three of swords, two of pentacles and the star. So you have, um, this energy of why is this happening? I feel like this is the right place for me to be. Why do I feel hurt by a situation? Why am I? It's because you're choosing to stay. Wounds heal if you let them. Okay. You're choosing to stay in that energy of I'm hurt because maybe it gives you some kind of feeling of superiority or some kind of feeling of I don't have to make a decision, right? Like you're staying in something that's hurtful to you for too long. There's a choice to move forward. And the first thing to do is heal. You're kind of sitting in this. Why is this happening for me? Why is this happening for me? Why is this happening to me? Victim mentality. Stop doing it, Gemini. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. You can choose healing. All right. And move forward in a good direction. You can really choose healing, right? It's a mindset. So that core wound thing next week, um, or Sunday, I think Sunday morning, we're going to post um, a meditation from my friend, Jen Huber. She's a shaman about the core wound. And I think you're looking at life through some kind of core wound that needs to be healed. Like you're always thinking of being a victim, or you're always thinking that people are going to abandon me, or you're always thinking of everything is through the lens of shame. And if you're asking about why, okay, that's not a bad thing. Like you want to get to the core reason why this is going on for you. But at the same time, isn't it important to, I mean, it's important to know that, but it's also important to do healing work around it and not just sit in the, I was victimized piece. That doesn't usually happen for Gemini. Just saying, just saying. All right. So for cancer, what about for you? Regeneration. Hanged man. Wow. Fool. Strength all, except for this one, major arcana cards. I knew as soon as I said it, like I was going to pull a minor arcana. This is about a new path forward. This is about how can I partner with somebody in a different way? Okay. How can I uh, push my business or pu push my success forward? I feel like you've burned something to the ground. It's time to take an, it's time to release yourself to the new journey. Take bold action. Uh, some of you are going to be starting a partnership. Um, some of you are going to be working in a very different way. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay. It's really a beautiful thing. Could have a Leo or a fire sign with you or a Scorpio. This is about death. So the ending of a cycle of something that was just holding you back. All right. There's new, new opportunities uh, on the, on the horizon. Definitely a really nice opportunity on the horizon. Okay, so it's a partnership. It's definitely working with somebody that you could uh, love or you could uh, just love the work, all right? Leo, finally for Leo, blessed, you know you are, Leo. It's gorgeous energy. Four of cups, four of swords, eight of pentacles, ace of wands, a new idea coming in. You have been sitting in this four of cups, four of pentacles about your work for a long time. There is a blessing coming in. It could be a 22. It could be a person. It could be a new um, opportunity, a new idea coming in. Grab it. Grab it, Leo. This is something that you're going to be so grateful for in the future. I just see so much stagnation that needs to be healed with. Um, you've been putting in effort and time on healing, but now it's like it's time to grab the brass ring. Okay. It's time to move forward. All right, you guys. So there's a lot of moving forward in that in that reading. I just feel like that Pisces full moon was, uh, or that last six months for a lot of us have been has been a really challenging time. And it has been about core wounds. It has been about things that have cropped up for us that we're trying to heal, that we're working on healing. And, um, you know, have just been kind of stuck in the cycle of not wanting, not wanting to really feel that pain or not really releasing it enough. Something like that. 
All right, so let's do a reading for everybody watching. I'm so glad you're here. If you like the work I do here on Soulful Revolution, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't so you get notified. Um, we're also going to start doing some things on the channel that are going to be more like meditations and journeys and other things. I have a heart healing group that's happening on Wednesdays that a lot of people are liking because we're really talking about doing the work of healing. It's not as hard as you think, especially when you're with a tribe like this one. Uh, I am very proud of Pathfinders. I am very proud of the tribe on this channel. So if you want to kind of get yourself moving in your life, this is a good place to be. All right. So let's see for everybody what wants to come through. Oh my goodness. Yes. Infinite abundance. <laughs> Infinite abundance. Navigating by the stars faraway places. Get ready for new horizons. Wow. Okay. I like, well, you go over here. Um, faraway places. Some of you might um, find that you're having, you're feeling called. Some of you are traveling. Okay. Some of you are traveling, but some of you are actually actively moving. I've seen that recently in some of the readings where you know, your astrology chart is basically, which we talk about a lot on this channel, it's about following your karmic path forward. So if you don't know what your north node is, Google it, baby, because that is your that is in your birth chart that's saying this is the this is the way forward. This is the way to activate the energy of the karmic path you're here to embrace. Okay, your north node, a lot of people, it's brand new to your soul in this lifetime. It's brand new. So what wants to come through for everybody watching, please? Lovers underneath. I'm also getting the emperor and I'm getting the six of cups. Could be a Gemini or an Aries coming back from the past. Wow. Chariot. Cancerian energy. Four of wands. Cancer, are you moving? Okay. Uh, something about that. Moving. Moving opportunity five of wands there's a lot of opportunity here i feel like there's a lot of people making demands on your time right now cancer aries gemini a lot of people making demands queen of wands the universe is saying sit in your passion if you're having a lot of choices there's a lot of things you could be doing opt to go toward your passion and a lot of times that is about embracing your north node how we got here. A lot of stuck energy. I feel like the past six months has challenged a lot of people. There's too many choices. There's not enough passion. There's not enough growth feeling. There's just this sense of, well, I could go that direction or this direction. I'm not really sure which one I should choose. Just dip your toe in. Just put some effort and energy toward a direction that you want to go toward. Everybody's getting balanced right now. I like this Libra time. This is happening in Libra time. And over the next four months, so the end of this year, all right, the end of this year, Hierophant, how people are seeing you, you got this, you got this. Immediate future, the fool, brand new path. Wow. Hopes and fears. I don't want to get blown up, so I'm going to keep moving. Yeah. You're moving on a new path. All right. You're definitely moving on a new path when you choose your passion. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Swords. You have been sitting in so much energy of I'm not good enough, lack mentality. Uh, this week, I'm going to be doing a, a class on reprogramming your subconscious mind. When you want to manifest, your heart is so pure. Your heart is saying, yes, I want this. But your mind is saying, is that possible? I can't see how that's possible. And like kind of throwing a bucket of cold water on the intentions that you have. So the job, your job is to align your head and your heart. And we're going to be doing that this week on this class. It is free to our pathfinders. Okay. The people who are um, in that high tier pathfinder group, um, you are getting that class for free. So I hope that that's great for you. If you want to jump onto pathfinders, you'll get this class free. It's going to be live on Thursday, September 7th. Okay, so one more seven of swords. You're building, a, you're, you might be building or have built in the past based on scarcity mentality. That is a lie. The universe is completely unbridled in terms of the amount of abundance that can flow through you and to you. Abundance is pouring into your life. Your mind is telling you, no, I don't, I don't really see that happening. And so it doesn't. So let's fix that. 
Okay, let's fix that. So that is for you guys uh, for this Saturday morning. Um, looking forward. Let me see here. One more thing, please. For the next four months. This is really going to take place over the next four months. Wheel of Fortune. Fated and Destined. Two of Cups. Star. Beautiful energy of healing here. Healing anything from the past. Uh, I feel like some of you have love coming in too. When you finally align your head and your heart, everything is possible. All right, you guys, good to see you today and have a wonderful weekend. Mwah. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.